and we're up and at it another day to get this off the van got to bring these are the struts and strut bellows for the springs i bought the other day and we gotta hopefully make some money today all right another day see what we got going on in here i was not around yesterday so hopefully got some stuff accomplished all right well there's not a motor here that wasn't there yesterday so must be we're installing that This one, oh this, Bill called me about this one. This one had the valve guides drop out of it, so. Just got done doing head gaskets, water pumps, some other stuff for the customer. Went to put the head back on and noticed that the valve guide had dropped. This is the one that the other day, the um, we thought the threads had come out with the block, or with the head bolt out of the block. Uh, we were able to deal with that. We had the parts to, to deal with that. So that's back together, gonna be sold hopefully this weekend. And it looks like, oh yeah, he got the mufflers done on that. Perfect. Ew. All right, was at the shop for about two hours. A lady came in to have a power steering pump done. Could not get the thing to bleed. Finally got it, sent her on her way. Did a CV shaft in a Outback that we're selling. And now I'm on my way to go show the Geo Prism. Hopefully we sell that thing. I bought it, it's basically the same thing as a Toyota Corolla, they run forever. I have a couple trade-ins here that the guy decided he might be interested. So, this one was from New Jersey, even these head gaskets, and then there's another one that's all rotted out. That's like a $1,200 piece of crap. I think he's gonna take that. Whatever, gets it out of here. All right, guy left me 300 bucks. He's gonna come tomorrow and pay the balance. This thing's gonna be out of here. I couldn't believe it. I put both these cars for 1200 bucks, or uh, basically 1200 bucks a piece, take both of them for 22 or something like that, and it took a month. It's insane. Perfectly good running cars. Alright, let's get strut splitting this thing. 7,000 miles? I don't know. on our way to the Ford dealership because we found out that Alice's Taurus has an axle seal that's leaking everywhere. Get that done up. Well, I tried to keep recording the previous day, but everything just went off the rails. Alice's car had multiple problems we found with the axle seal. It's some whole PTU unit, but it's kind of a motherfucker. I drove to Ford dealership, drove all over trying to find parts for it, and nothing worked out the way it's supposed to work out. I spent most of the day driving around picking up parts and it's pretty much a waste of a day, nothing you want to see. So, on to the next day. Today, I had to push any appointments I had yesterday back to today because I was running all over the county trying to find parts for Alice's Ford. Uh, we got to meet, hopefully, three or four people today and take their money so then we can make payroll. Yay! Well, my first appointment canceled because they have COVID. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not getting their money for two weeks or ten days or whatever they say is appropriate now. <laughs> and we're out of welding wire, and I think my valve guides came in at the Subaru, like the big dealer, so I might go pick those up, get some welding wire, and then back to the shop. Guess who needs gas again? Fucking commies. And we have valve guides. Yay. Now have a second customer who said that they probably can't make it today. They're going to have to go with maybe Monday or Tuesday. Which brings us down to only maybe two people they are supposed to come later today. It's funny how when they want to see the cars, it's like, get here, get here, get here. And they'll like wait there for me and contact me like crazy. But the second it comes to, you need to actually pay me for this vehicle. It's like crickets. <laughs> it's like this every time. It's so annoying. Back over at the lot. Got some paperwork printed. Kid called me saying he's coming to bring the rest of the money for this trade in over here. Paid twelve hundred bucks for this. Head gaskets are done and everything. We did that like three years ago. Before the guy traded it in. Yay. And another customer leaves. And brought us another wonderful check. How exciting. It's 
go put it in the bank. It sucks. One out of four that we're supposed to come today is all we got money out of. So hopefully that's enough to cover payroll. <laughs> Oh man. All right, finishing up the day, out picking up a bag of pellets. Had a couple things go on the day. Took our first ride in the Taurus, took it out about an hour drive each way to dinner. Went well, runs awesome. All that work we did is finally worth it. Um, so we're gonna get that put on the road for Alice hopefully next week. Um, I do have a little announcement. We have a new series coming to the channel. It's uh, going to be announced hopefully tomorrow so stay tuned and uh that's going to be interesting and it's going to show you a lot about how to make money